It's an unfortunate reality some are living, others can only witness. Automatic machine guns and bullets getting fired. Haiti is in a really tragic situation right now. A situation Frank Taylor is watching closely, but other members of his organization, Haiti Children, are living it. It has never been this bad. For 27 years, the nonprofit has assisted disabled and abandoned children in Haiti at their school and orphanage. Now those operations are being threatened by gangs and a shortage of gas. We can't transport our food to our orphanage, um, so we have you know, some serious concerns regarding the children and making sure that our disabled children are getting the med medical equipment that they need, uh, medical supplies, obviously the food. And employees fear for their own safety. The gangs are extremely dangerous. We've had 32 of our employees have either been attacked or robbed in the last month. Taylor says the gangs have taken the home and a loved one of employee Wilkins Charles. <clears throat> Hey, Wilkins, can you hear me? Yeah. He's a native Haitian that has worked with the organization for two years. He can only join by phone. Even then, the service is bad. Where I used to live, there are two gangs. They are fighting against each other. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. The violence is starting to run natives to safer grounds. It's very, it's very crazy here. However, Taylor, more than 2,000 miles away, hopes to continue their good deeds and keep loved ones safe with your help. Uh, we just ask that people take a moment, especially on Thanksgiving, you know, to uh, recognize the situation. We're, we have so much to be grateful for here in America. And I'm Darius Johnson. All right, thank you, buddy. All right, thank I'm you, Wilkins. Absolutely. Uh, you're thank you. Bye bye. Nine News. Haiti Children has fed over 2 million people this year alone and helps 8,000 every year. Taylor says donations would help improve the safety of employees and families as well as safety around the school. There's a donation link on this story on our website 9news.com.